Hi, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Fulmer, and the topic that I'm going to speak about right now is going to be about the Monsanto protest march here that took place here in Pittsburgh, PA. It was also a worldwide protest march against Monsanto, and Monsanto is a company that makes genetically modified processed foods. We the people of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania went out and took and took and participated in the uh, worldwide march against Monsanto. Monsanto is responsible for processing and making poisons like ancient orange that was used heavily in the Vietnam conflict in Vietnam and they're also responsible for making poisons another poison known as Roundup to kill the weeds uh, Monsanto started out in the chemical company and I just mentioned that they were responsible for processing and making ancient orange for the Vietnam conflict and also making and processing the chemical Roundup to kill the weeds. Um, then they decided to get into a food. But this is the type of food that would not be healthy for you and and it will kill you. They basically genetically modified seeds. Uh, for an for an example, they modified. They figured out how to way to modify and genetically modify a seed to put poison into a uh, seed, the corn seed. Uh, they made. They had a bunch of corn crops a few years ago. Back a few years ago, they had genetically modified uh, corn crops with the poison it, the bees the honey bees were trying to uh, pollinate and when they got to the uh, Monsanto genetically modified corn poison corn crops they died and Monsanto came up with the uh, reasoning for their death uh, The, it, it was kind of cold that season and and the bees came out too early and they died because of the uh, the vast coldness they just came out way too early to pollinate and that was their excuse but I'm gonna get back to the uh, the protest march against Monsanto that took place in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania and it was part of part of a worldwide protest uh, well uh, the pit I'm gonna can, I'm gonna mention about the uh, the Pittsburgh publications uh, one of the Pittsburgh publications news media publications uh, they reported that there were only 300 people that attended this Monsanto protest rally march uh, that's that's totally not true uh, there was at least a thousand that well at least a thousand well over one thousand people that attended the uh, the Monsanto protest march here in Pittsburgh PA I did attend it there was there, there wasn't no 300 uh, it wasn't 300 people that truly attended. It was 1,088 people that attended the uh, the protest march against Monsanto here in Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And some of the news, the the news media like uh, the TV and radio, one of the uh, media publications for the television radio only gave a 30 second 
uh, take on the uh, Monsanto march, and that was it. it. It should have been covered. It should have been at least a minute, or maybe at least five or ten minutes on this. Uh, the reason why the people were marching in this protest against Monsanto so uh, they could come up produce the uh, real reasons why Monsanto is bad they genetically modify processed crap it's it the nutrition value it's it's nothing uh, they do that with the chickens they they basically Monsanto clones chickens and they have a uh, perfectly grown chicken clone chicken in about five days and it's also unhealthy and not good to eat and they also uh, genetically modified seeds and the people behind that fun the funding mechanism of the uh, of Monsanto they this funding me mechanism, the, I would just say the Rothschilds, the uh, the Rockefellers, the Warburgs, J.P. Morgan, and people like that, they uh, have special genetically modified seeds that are heavily aluminum, aluminum resistant. And, well, you know, the, those eliminated, well, alumin, alumin, aluminum resistant seeds is supposed to uh, combat the uh, the chemtrails that are putting a lot of aluminum in the air and whenever you put the chemtrails they just hover up there for hours they're just trying to manipulate the atmosphere and create a uh, a uh, greenhouse effect and then just blame it on global warming but these elitists, they uh, they built a private seed vault with a lemon, a lemon heaven. They created a genetically modified seed that's actually healthy that could resist a, a vast amount of uh, aluminum. And they put it up in the uh, North Pole or in the Arctic, a, seed, a big giant seed vault. But... Um, I just wanted to touch base the uh, Pittsburgh Trivia Review. One of the Pittsburgh publications re reported that there were 300 people that attended the uh, so-called protest march against Monsanto here in Pittsburgh, PA. That is not true. Uh, there was about at least a thousand or over a thousand people that attended this march against Monsanto here in Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, a lot of the administrators that helped administrated this march against Monsanto here in Pittsburgh, they're uh, requesting the Tribune, Re Tribune Review and other Pittsburgh uh, newspaper publications to uh, print a retraction giving the true numbers, the true nature, and the real truth to why we the people of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania took part of the uh, worldwide protest march against Monsanto on May 25th of 2013. And I would like to uh, also uh, touch base with the administrators of the Pittsburgh Monsanto march. Uh, I would like to uh, invite them for a dialogue speak to Gary V at True Central to open up some kind of dialogue for the uh, up the next upcoming March would probably take place in 2014 I know that's the administrators are working on that very diligently and very hard uh, I hope we could at least open up some kind of dialogue with the administrators or anybody else that has a lot of knowledge on Monsanto we could open up a dialogue and maybe uh, have you as a speaker at True Central any of the administrators that help administrated the uh, the Monsanto March here 
in Pittsburgh, PA. Maybe we could have you as a speaker or anybody else that's an expert on Monsanto. Maybe we could make arrangements, open up, open up a dialogue and create a uh, healthy and good flourishable relationship at True Central. I will have the contact information down below the definition box of this video, uh, the contact information of uh, Gary V, the telephone number, the email addresses for True Central, and also my contact contact information. Uh, well, this is Patriot of the Republic saying so long and goodbye for now, and God bless everyone. Uh, have a good day. Bye.